turn on the mic and close the door. But, but what? We don't love them hoes and ye. We can smoke an ounce to this. Cheese up, hose down while you mother... Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Feast's Review. I haven't posted because uh, I've been lazy. Sorry. I'm not gonna say anything else. I was just lazy. Anyways, let's post a Feast Review. Today, I'm gonna talk about my top 10 favorite punk rock albums. If you don't know, I used to be in a couple of bands like uh, Anarch Peace, but then I quit and then they added a new guy. I think I was in a lot of bands, but the thing is, I know a lot about music, so I will tell you my top 10 favorite punk albums. Okay, so the first one is called Suffer by Bad Religion. Now this has a lot of intellectual lyrics. Um, the I was reading a book by the creator. I was reading a book by um, the vocalist of Bad Religion and he said um, the cover of Bad Religion is basically a boy and he's in a suburban area and he's burning. It's called Suffer. And he feels like um, when you're so insecure it feels like you're raging with fire. That's what the album represents kinda, the picture, and there's a lot of intellectual lyrics, um, there's a lot, he, the singer actually has a PhD in evolutionary biology, and um, he put a lot of his intellect into the album, and I think it's a really good album. Really, really fast and angry, really, really fast and angry, a lot of the songs sound have the same rhythm like it's really fast and angry <laughs> I don't know you if you listen to it you'll know what I mean but it's a good album with a lot of consistency in the uh, anger it's really angsty okay so my second album is by no use for a name the feel-good record of the year I love this album not a bad song on the album now you know use for a name has really depressing lyrics, but they're really lyrics that people can relate to, but this record, um, the singer died of a heroin overdose, sadly, uh, right after he made this record, and it was the last record made by No Use For A Name, but I always listened to this record, I loved every song on the album, and um, very melodic. The singer was great, the uh, rhythm was great, I liked the um, persona behind the album too. There was a lot of uh, slower songs, faster songs, there's even an acoustic song, and they do a good envelope in that album and I think it's really good. Okay, next up, No Effects, one of my favorite punk bands from back in the day. Um, these guys, uh, the two of the guys are Jewish and one of the guys Mexican, one of the guys... They have a, another album they made before this one called White Trash, Two Heaps and a Bean and then they made this one called Punk and Drublick. So basically this album is really good. It talk, It's really... has a lot of funny lyrics and it has a lot of lyrics that have hints to change. I feel like um, a lot of their songs like Perfect Government is kind of making fun of how did the cat get so fat? Um, establishments and then there's um, other songs like the Brews that are just kind of fun. There's really a good envelope in this song, and that's kind of what I'd look for—a good, tight mix in an album. So an album, I feel like it's really important how you order the album with the songs, and they did a good job on making this song first, this song second, and it kind of flows together. Oh yeah, Milo Goes to College. Now this is the legendary album of The Descendants. Now this singer also got a PhD. I can't remember what the PhD was, but basically he got a PhD in something. And he is a very educated guy as well. The singer Milo um, in Milo Goes to College. They wrote this album when they were in college and they have a lot of lyrics like parents, why won't they shut up? They have a lot of lyrics that people in college can relate to. They have a lot of lyrics that angry 
they just it's really relatable to a wide persona of people especially growing up and feeling broke and in college and that kind of idea and basically this album was kind of revolutionary a lot of people talk about it they had songs uh oh yeah suburban home was a good one it was a good sample of all the songs and this album was really really tight it's really it's not too sloppy but the songs are really short but that's what makes it good they're really fast energetic and they wake you up and they have a lot of good stuff in this album now the next album I feel like I wasn't gonna add this in because it's not too punk but Blink-182 I mean they're pop punk and they're still punk I mean you can't I don't believe in the word sellout really but basically when they were made this album their self-titled album I used to think it sucked there was a lot of whiny lyrics and I don't necessarily like Tom DeLonge's voice it's really high-pitched and nasally but when they used to have a lot of older songs like their album uh, Dude Ranch, Enema of the State, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, yes those are real legit album names. Basically Blink-182 had a persona for making like really immature funny songs. And then they made this album self-titled which was a lot more emotional, relatable, it was kind of flowed well together but it wasn't too fast but there were some songs that were really fast there were some songs that were slower like I miss you and that one got really popular I'm sure you've heard that on the radio there's a lot of songs that and I feel like they were holding back real emotions maybe they just matured as artists or maybe they just felt like they were holding back real lyrics they wanted to share and so they poured it all out into this album and I think this album is actually pretty good pretty good it's not fast and angry as much as like Milo goes to college but I think it's good because they poured out everything they were uh, holding back and their from their other albums now what's another album Lagwagon now this is more of a band I saw them live they're pretty good anyways Lagwagon has a lot of good songs they kind of sound like no effects but they're pretty good they um, have this one album called Huss and it has a lot of melodic rock in it. It's kind of nice. There's like five people in the band and they have good lead and they're really fast. They have a lot of fast songs, but uh, that's what I like about this. And they have a lot of songs that mix well in the envelope of the uh, album. Operation Ivy. Did you know that Green Day the legendary Green Day who made Dookie. I'm not going to add this in this top 10 because everyone knows Dookie. But basically, Operation Ivy grew up in, uh, I think it was Berkeley? Berkeley. And Green Day was around the same hometown. Basically, Operation Ivy and Green Day knew each other as bands and they were kind of friends. But basically, once Green Day became really famous, they called them sellouts and they didn't talk to them until like 2013, which is really ridiculous. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Operation Ivy is a great band, was a great band. They only made one album until they kind of made new bands. <laughs> but uh, basically, this album had a lot of great songs. It's really raw. It's really fun. It's really, there's a lot of different things you can listen to. There's like some slower r reggae ska songs and there's some faster angry punk songs and there's instrumental songs there's so many songs on this album i think it's like 27 and this great album you can listen to it forever and not get bored of it there's also um black flag was a really good album henry rollins is kind of an idol i have um a picture of him on my vision board and he's a really kind of a cool guy he made an album called My War once one of the singers left or died or something. I don't really know about the first singer. But then Henry Rowland stepped in. And he talks about this sometimes. But he's in a he was in a band called Black Flag. And he made this, and there was this album called My War. And now this album 
was pretty good. Like, it was pretty good. But the recording is a little muffly for... I think they messed up in the recording room or something. But it's really... Uh, there's a lot of good songs like uh, Beat My Head Against the Wall. <laughs> and there's another one called Can't Decide is a good one. My War is the song of the album. And there's a lot of uh, kind of cool, fun rock songs. Uh, but they're... It sounds... Volume isn't as loud for some reason, but I really like the album because it... it I think it was like Henry Rollins' first album, not quite sure when he joined Black Flag, but it was a great album, I think, and it had a lot of cool songs in it. Next one. You know Operation Ivy, the band I just talked about? Well, basically, they made a... When they broke up, two of the guys from Operation Ivy made a band called Rancid. Rancid, more popular band, you probably heard of them, but basically, they have an album called Out Come the Wolves, and this was a great album. This had a lot of cool songs, fun songs, it has a lot of, I just said that in the last couple, but basically there's one song, uh, when you listen to the album and it starts off, you, there's a really cool bass, lots of great bass in this album, um, and it starts off, bum 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 bum, so it gets really fast and angry, the first song, and then there's some more reggae songs like the other Operation Ivy album, and they have a lot of, it's Better, it's more professionally recorded, and there's a lot of there's a lot of great songs in this album. I feel like they put a lot of good put a lot of effort into this album. It was really really well made. Now the last album, number ten. This is one of my favorite albums from back in the day. I don't really know much about the band themselves, but I did really like this album called My Brain Hurts by Screeching Weasel. Now they have a lot of. Uh, they're really fast, but they also have a lot of melody. They're kind of like pop punk, but they're really fast and angry at the same time. They mix that really well. And they have a lot of cool songs, and they appeal to a lot of people like they could, but they don't really make as much anymore, I don't think. And they have a lot of good songs. Um, and their older stuff is a lot more better and I feel like this album was the best album they had my brain hurts by screeching weasel all their al other albums were okay but this one was like my favorite out of all their other albums that was my top 10 punk album list oh, this video was 14 minutes Jesus Christ thank you for watching I guess